Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Thursday, November 14th. I'm not so jazzy, Jay, with your morning announcements. Celebrating their birthday today is Michael Crum, Jesse Sloan, and Nicole Padraski. There will be a high school TSA meeting on Friday after school in room 109. Today is a club day. Sixth grade chorus and eighth grade band will meet in the music wing during last period today. Attention high school students. The National Honor Society will be hosting a giving thanks dance on Friday, November 22nd from 7 to 9 p.m. in the cafeteria. Pre-sale of tickets will begin tomorrow during all lunch periods. Pre-sale price will be $5. All tickets at the door will be $7. But for every canned good you donate, 50 cents will be taken off the price, hence giving thanks. Our DJ will be DJ Steve. There will be a stage crew meeting after school on Thursday from 2.30 to 3 in the auditorium. There will be a history club meeting Tuesday, November 19th at 2.30 in Mr. Berkey's room. We will be discussing decorating at the Church of the Brethren Home, our basket party, and adopting a family for Christmas. Today for lunch, we are having an Italian hoagie on a roll, tater tots, chilled peaches, fruit juice, and a jelly bar. Tomorrow for breakfast, we will be having breakfast pizza, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks, and have a great day. Shall we begin? Welcome to Words with Chad. Today's word of the day is tepid. Tepid is an adjective meaning showing little enthusiasm. The president had a very tepid response to the proposal. And that's words with Chad. Hi, I'm Danson Devon with your morning career announcement. We've been using the terms entry-level salary and average salary. Just a reminder that entry-level means that you're just getting started and probably don't have much experience. Average salaries are computed using the lowest through the highest salary, so it may take time to earn these wages. Don't forget that normally, the more you learn, the more you earn. So the training and education you complete really makes a difference in, a, in the long run. A lifelong learner will always update his or her skills and knowledge in order to advance in a career. Have a good one. Hello, back here they're actually here with your daily forecast. How can you tell the ocean is friendly? It waves! Today will be mainly sunny with a high of 47 and a low of 30. Friday will be sunny with a few clouds in sight. The temperatures will reach a high of 50 and a low of 33. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Good morning, I'm Ramblin' Ryan here with your sports highlights. In the latest NCAA rankings, Oregon suffered their first loss of the season last week to Stanford by a final score of 26 to 20. The BCS top five now looks like this with Alabama at number one, Florida State at number two, Ohio State is at number three, Stanford is now at number four, and Baylor is at number five. Now that Oregon lost, there are only six remaining undefeated teams in the FBS, Alabama, Florida State, Ohio State, Baylor, Fresno State, and Northern Illinois. Oregon is now ranked number six. And on this day in sports history, on this day in 1970, a plane crash just miles from an airport resulted in deaths mo of most associated with the Marshall football team. The crash killed 37 players, the coach, doctors, athletic director, and several boosters. Marshall returned to the field in 1971 with a new coach that worked hard to rebuild the program. The team was allowed, the team was allowed to get an exemption to play freshmen for the 1971 season. They only won two games that year, however. And that's all for sports today. I'm, I'm Ramblin' Ryan, and fire is hot.